Don't let them make the world more ridiculous than it is. People are in an uproar over the silliest things. I can't believe people are upset because gay people want to get married. You know, if gay people want to be miserable, let them be miserable. <laughs> you know? I mean, you defeated the whole purpose of being gay as far as I'm concerned, you know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> See, I'm married, I know. I mean, I thought about being gay. I'm like, well, at least I wouldn't have to put up with her. I have a friend, honestly, I have a friend, she's lesbian and she's uh, getting married. She's very militantly gay too. She's very upset, you know? She says things, you know, on the political scale, she gets very carried away. She's like, don't you know that being gay now is like being black in the 60s? I'm like, no it isn't. <laughs> Let me tell you something, there is nothing harder than being gay. Let me put it out there. <laughs> All right. You might have thought I was gonna say black, but let me say something. I've been called names, I've been discriminated against. What I don't remember is that conversation where I sat down and broke the news to my parents. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I don't know how to tell you this. Son, are you gay? No, I'm a Negro. <laughs> Dorothy, this is all your fault. I told you to stop frying the chicken. Don't fry the chicken anymore, Dorothy. <laughs> Son, are you sure it's not a phase? <laughs> Have you even tried being Caucasian? <laughs> I thought about it, I could be wrong. Maybe being gay and black is exactly the same because I would be the last person to know, you know? Maybe I'm at a party with all my friends, I leave, they take that opportunity to start talking behind my back. Salim's cool, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's cool, but um, he's kind of urban. I mean, what are you saying? I think Salim might be black. 